This is what happens when you call people not trying to sell them anything. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Hope everybody's doing super well. Look, man, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to reiterate here. Fired up for 2021. And it all starts right now. All starts out. Matter of fact, guys, I'm about to drop something on you. Y'all, I bet y'all are going to be excited about this. I bet y'all are going to be excited about this. I haven't released this yet. This is just for people watching this video. Let me get in here and find everything I need. Boom, boom. Okay, here we go. I'm going to drop this. Hi, Miss Janice. Let's see. Hi, how you doing today? This is Tim with EXP. How you doing today? EXP, huh? EXP Realty. I'm a, uh, I'm a local real estate agent. I was just calling to see how you're doing today. Good. Um, I got divorced and I didn't get the house, so I just want to let you know. That is perfectly okay. I was actually just calling to see if there's anything I can do for you. No, you're great. Well, thank you for checking. I'm good at the moment. Do you have an agent that you would work with if you decide to uh, make a purchase or sell in the future? No. Would it be okay if well, I stayed? In... So. Would it be okay if I stayed in contact with you in case that day does come? Yes, that would be wonderful. Wonderful. What's your best email? Gotcha. Gotcha. And gmail.com. Wonderful. I will stay in contact with, that, with you and uh, touch bases every now and then. I look forward to talking to you in the future. Wonderful. Um, what time frame are you looking at? I don't know how much to put that, but I have a meeting with my mother. I just signed a year's lease, so it wouldn't be for a year, so if you could just say it's hard to provide your contact information. Perfectly okay. fine. Is it okay if I call you like every three months? Yeah. Wonderful. I will be giving you a call in about three months. Okay, great. Thank you. Take care. My pleasure. Have a great day. You too. All right. <laughs> yes, dude. Look at there. Look at there, bro. That was about as smooth as ice. Man, I'm gonna call you the Iceman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you were the Iceman. So what's going on three months? I didn't catch all that. So she just got divorced. Uh, she just signed a one-year lease, um, but she's talking with the financial advisor because she wants to purchase again in a year. Um, so she basically just said, follow up with her every three months. And um, that way we don't lose contact. And if she, her situation changes and we can do something sooner, we will. Isn't it amazing how someone says, I'm not ever going to look to do anything, right? And by the end of the call, they're telling you that they're going to buy a house in a year. Yep. Is that, is this not amazing? Yeah. This is it, what happens when you call people not trying to sell them anything. Yeah. Absolutely. And you actually try to connect with them, right? Through your tone, through your questions, your intentions. Look at what just happened here. <laughs> You got an email from someone who said they're not looking to do anything. Absolutely. And it turned into a conversation and, and like, you're going to check on her every three months to sell her a house in a year. Beautiful. Love it. And yeah, I did a lot of uh, like events before, um, which COVID shut all that down. That was my main lead prospecting before. And this has honestly been a blessing and it's been coming across your content's just been amazing. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's uh, it's all the stuff that it took me a decade to learn, you know, a decade and a half.